All right, so we have UT Martin head coach Ryan Jenkins. Uh, if you have a question, let me know down in the chat and I'll call on you. Uh, first, though, Coach, just start off your general thoughts about heading into uh, this season. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, we're kind of the same boat as everybody. There's a lot of excitement here, uh, especially in the locker room. The guys are ready to go. Uh, you feel really good about returning some seniors on the mound and, and some guys that have had a lot of experience in the league and uh, guys that pitch meaningful innings for us. Uh, it, it just makes you feel a little bit better having that experience there, especially going in early. Um, we're excited about some of the young guys. I think that we've, we've kind of injected some, some young guys in our program that you look at that a little bit more speed, a little bit different dynamic to what we're doing. Um, and then the other thing is we've been really fortunate with the weather uh, outside of the last two days and the two or three inches of ice we got right now. But we have been very fortunate um, this year as opposed to the year past, uh, being able to get on the field and scrimmage and you know do the team defenses. We're not stuck in a gym or a small case. So, that's been really good for us, especially with the preparation, getting ready to start here in the week. So you mean ice is not good for baseball? Uh, it's not very conducive for, for running and throwing, and uh, it's just not great. But it, it will make you tough. I mean, you get out there on that stuff. But, you know, our guys, and that's one of the things, too, is our guys have been ready to go. I mean, in the past, maybe you get a little bit of complaining, a little bit of griping here and there. But the cold weather hasn't been an issue at all. The guys have been out and excited to be on the field and, and be working. I'm going to start you with this, and then we'll go to some of our questions. Uh, there's there's a lot of negatives you could ask. You know, how have your team dealt with being the season cut short? But I'm going to know what's a positive that you, your players, you, your staff have taken from what's happened the last year. That maybe just going forward, that's the way you do things, and, and it'll help you in the long run. I mean, for us, I mean, it's a different situation for everybody, but for us, really, uh, it was an opportunity for us to get kind of healthy. I mean, we had some guys that were banged up, you know. We had some guys that, that weren't 100%, some guys that needed some more time, some guys that had some small nagging injuries that had been going on, that had played a lot of baseball, played summer ball, played fall ball, spring ball. And it gave us a time kind of just to, to slow things down, get them in good shape, make sure that everything's healed up. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, you start to, to, to look at what you're doing and the process of how you do things. and Maybe you make some small adjustments here and there because it's what you have to do. Um, and maybe some of those things have been good for us, and, and we'll find out you know, here in a couple of days. Let's go, uh, Van Stokes. Your question first. Go ahead, Coach. This is Van Stokes from the Governor's Sports Network in Austin, P. I think you're the only Ohio Valley Conference school that has had one of your alumni go on and throw a no hitter in the major leagues. Of course, I'm talking about Alec Mills, who has literally been the uh, just just a real sign of perseverance and did a great job. Have you been able to maintain contact with him, and and has he been able to speak to your team or? Yes. Are they looking to him for, you know, just inspiration and guidance? Yeah. I mean, I, I think he, he came down and spoke to all of our guys, and I think his story was one of perseverance. I mean, coming on as a walk-on and, and basically rising up and being one of the, the leaders here and, and being able to go play Major League Baseball. And I think a lot of the guys wanted to, to know some of the, you know, they always are excited to ask about how is Major League Baseball, how is, you know, professional baseball. So they were all really excited to be able to talk, talk to him about that. And, you know, they always want to know, you know, what is your daily routine like? What do you do? How do you live? How do you run? How do you throw? Uh, what kind of arm care do you do? So he, he was awesome. He sat here and, and spoke to our guys and he answered all the questions he could. And, and you know, for us, he's a, he's a great model for what we want our players to be. And, and obviously, of, of perseverance, his story is pretty incredible. Thank you. Coach, how do you use that then, you know, with recruiting especially too, you can tell people not only can an OVC player make it big time, a walk-on on a team can can come and work hard and make it big. I mean, I, I think that that's always a story that you talk to, you know, guys that come in here, uh, you know, we, we talk to them about you come in and you, you do the work and, and you persevere and, and you do things the right way and you progress, you have an opportunity to, to – to reach a place where, where you can play professional baseball. Um, you know, I, I think that we've got to start doing a better job. And I think that this group that we have now will kind of start getting us on track of getting guys drafted. I think it's very important, especially with guys that we want to come into our program to, to see players get drafted and play professional baseball and, and move on down the road. Anybody else has questions, let me know down in the chat. Uh, you only had 16 games last year. Uh, but in those 16 games, you had some really young players who made quite an impact, were having good seasons. They earned some of those freshman All-American honors that came out after 
after the year. Can you talk about that, that recruiting and, and those young players and them making a difference for you? Yeah, we've, we've, we've had a, a big group, at, you know, that's come in and, and been able to, to participate and, and contribute really early for us. Um, Will will follow it and Christian Hall, they, they started out really well last year. Um, I think that it's important for us to start looking at those players and what they do for our program. I mean, you put those guys in the lineup. I think that Will the Follett made Ethan Whitley better. I think that when you start putting that guy behind you that pushes you a little bit, it really kind of up the but it ups everybody's game. Um, but that group's been really good. I think that there, there's some, some guys that we've brought in that have really pushed some of the guys that have been around the program and made them better. And I think that's really the most important thing is um, kind of that competition at every spot has gotten a little bit better since we've been here. Um, and that's what we want the guys to come in and really fight to get on the field. What do you consider your team's strength in this year? Um, this year, I think it's going to be our bullpen. Uh, I think we're really experienced in our bullpen. Uh, we've got, we're returning some guys that were kind of a little banged up last year that are healthy now. And I feel really good that if we can keep the game tight and we get into the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth inning, we've got a great opportunity to win those baseball games. So for us right now, the bullpen is what we'll hang our hat on. And I have one more, one more, maybe two more. Um, since last year was cut short, we didn't play any OVC games, um, but you've been around, you've, you've been around for an OVC season. How hard is it to judge what you're going to, what you're going to see from an OVC opponent when you get to a conference weekend, since you, it's really been two years since they, you've played a conference game. Yeah. I mean, for me, you know, the, the league's always been talked about as being really offensive. Um, but the thing that I noticed immediately is the Friday night arms in this league are as good as any in the country. Um, you know, I think it's important that you're able to prepare and play good midweek games. So when you go into the weekends, you're prepared for a guy on Friday night that's 93, 95 miles an hour that can spin a breaking ball and, and can keep you off balance. Um, you know, that's, to me, I think that's kind of one of the misconceptions about the league is that it's really, really offensive. And I think the pitching is outstanding across the board. Um, you know, for us, it's it's important and, and we're thankful that we've got some guys that have been through the league. Um, you know, Winston Cannon, Sam Folks, Nick Walbold, David Hussey, those guys have pitched meaningful innings in the league, um, got to throw in, you know, the conference tournament, that kind of thing. Uh, those guys bring a lot and they bring a lot of experience, especially with some young guys that haven't been on the field and haven't been in college baseball in a long time. And they're able to talk and tell stories and, and kind of lead guys and, and, and let them understand how tough the league is. So um, for me, I, I think that the league is getting stronger each year. And when you look at it across the board, uh, I think there's some, some seriously tough competition. One, follow, one final follow-up, Ben. So since you've been around the league for a couple of years and just your time in baseball, um, do you see that? Do you see leagues doing that? Like, you consider it offensive, but sometimes then it'll switch to maybe it's a pitching link for a couple of years. And then maybe just as things change in baseball with bats and balls and stuff like that, or is it maybe more of a mix, what you're saying, you can be offensive, but still have uh, some of those Friday night people. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think everybody looks at it differently, but I mean, baseball just, you know, it, it goes in waves. Uh, I mean, sometimes baseball tends to lean more offensive. Sometimes the teams it tends to lean more towards the pitching side. I mean, I think for us, I think that anytime that you go out and you see these super high scoring games as a coach, you're trying to combat that any way you can. Um, you know, the, it just changes. I think every year there's, there's something different to look at. But um, across the country, I think that some leagues kind of get their stamp. And this one, to me, from the outside looking in and then being in it, I think the stamp's always been it's really offensive. But I think a lot of that is the ballparks can play small at times. Um, you know, sometimes the games, Maybe on Sundays, you're, you know, in our league, we're, we're, we're throwing some younger guys, some, some inexperienced guys, and the games can get a little high scoring. But um, I think a lot of it has to do with the parts that we play in. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time this morning, and uh, best of luck, health, and weather to your team this year. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me.